This presentation will cover how to create and manage purchase prices and discounts within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 using trade agreements. Purchase prices and discounts are deduced from trade agreements and the presentation will introduce the different discounts that can be expressed with trade agreements and it will discuss trade agreement combinations. The structure of trade agreements will be introduced while actually create a trade agreement representing a purchase price in a product demonstration. Trade agreements are created and maintained in trade agreement journals and the presentation will go through the various functionalities within a journal. Trade agreement policies keeps track on the source of origin for purchase prices and discounts. A product demonstration will demonstrate how this information is used to support the user making conscious decisions about pricing and discounting when price and discount conditions change. Trade agreements are used to describe prices and different types of discounts. Purchase prices are deduced from trade agreements of relation price. These trade agreements are specified for a specific product and the price are given per order line. Line discounts are also given per order line, but can be specified for a specific product or a set of products. Multi-line discounts are on the other hand given for an accumulated quantity over all order lines. If the accumulated quantity is within a given threshold, then the multi-line discount will be granted. Total discount is given for the accumulated order amount if the amount is within a given threshold. Trade agreements can, besides describing purchase prices and different discounts, be defined for one of many combinations of vendors and products, defining how generic the trade agreement can be applied. One trade agreement can be specified for a specific product, a group of products, or for all products. The concept of table group all is used for this purpose, where table is used to specify a trade agreement for a specific product, Group is used to specify a trade agreement for a group of products and all is used to specify a trade agreement to be valid for all products. As an example, a 10% line discount will be granted from a specific vendor if purchasing more than 100 pieces of product A. But let's take a look at how all this looks like in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Creating, maintaining and deleting trade agreements is all done in a trade agreement journal. There exist many entries to the trade agreement journal within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and one of these places is in the journal group on the procurement and sourcing area page. Trade agreement journals are stored within a group for convenient recognition and to make it easier to find a specific trade agreement journal. In this example, they are stored within one group that I called price. A new journal is created by selecting new, select a group and optional override the default description. The journal is accessed by selecting the line section. The trade agreement journal can include a number of journal lines. Each journal line is either created in a journal or it is a copy of a trade agreement. The created journal line and a modified copy of a trade agreement will first be active as a trade agreement when the journal has been posted. Before posted, all changes to the journal does not impact prices and discounts deduced from trade agreements. The first field on a trade agreement journal line indicates whether or not the journal line has been changed or if the journal line has just been created. Existing trade agreements can be extracted to the journal as a copy and if no changes have yet been done to the line, it will not be marked as changed. The relation field indicates if the trade agreement relates to a price or discount, and if it relates to sales or purchase. The journal can include both sales and purchase simultaneously if required. Let's select that this journal line should be related to a purchase price. The account code defines the first part of the trade agreement combination. The options Table Group All indicates if the journal line will be valid for only one specific vendor, for a group of vendors, or for all vendors. 
let's select a specific vendor and in the account selection specify that this vendor is 1001 Earth Television. The item code defines the second part of the trade agreement combination. The option table group all indicates if the journal line will be valid for only one specific item, for a group of items or for all items. Let's select a specific item and in the item relation specify that the item number is 1000 LCD Television HD Black. It is possible in the following fields to specify that the journal line only should be valid for specific dimensions for the item. All product storage and tracking dimensions can be used. From and to indicates the quantity threshold where the trade agreement is valid. Only if item 1000 is selected with a quantity between from and to will the specified price be given. From is inclusive and to exclusive and leaving the to field empty indicates that there is no upper bound for the quantity. So from equals zero and two left empty means that the trade agreement is valid for all quantities. This purchase price is for less than 100 televisions. The from and two relates to the unit of measures indicated in the unit field. The amount in currency field defines the price in the given currency. Let's set the price for item 1000 to 2000 US dollar. The find next flag indicates that the search for a price or discount should continue search for lower prices and higher discounts even if the specific trade agreement is valid. The search will continue and will start to look at more general defined trade agreements. This could be trade agreements with less dimensions defined and more generic account codes and item code. Let's have a look into the functions that can be used with a trade agreement journal. By posting the journal, the journal lines will first be validated and subsequently be effectuated as trade agreements and available when requesting a price or discount. This journal will be posted as the last step in the presentation of the trade agreement journal. The select form opens when selecting the select function. This form provides the user with a flexible and powerful tool to extract trade agreements into journal lines. This is needed when trade agreement must be maintained and deleted. In the relations section, the user selects if the trade agreements extracted into the trade agreement journal should relate to prices, line discounts, multi-line discounts or total discounts or if it should be a combination of the four. The table group all concept applies to the vendor on a trade agreement journal line, which means that it is possible to specify the journal line for a specific vendor a group of vendors or for all vendors. But with the include additional relations, it is possible to extract the trade agreements into the journal very dynamic. Say that I want to work with all trade agreements that relate to purchase prices for vendor 1001 Earth Television. The trade agreements that would be relevant would be the trade agreements that relate to vendor prices that were defined specific for the vendor, but also the trade agreements specified for the group of vendors where the vendor were a member, plus the trade agreement specified for all vendors. This is selected by selecting the include additional relations. Similar will selecting the account code group and the include additional relations extract all trade agreement which is valid for the members of the group and selecting the account code all and the include additional relations will extract those trade agreement relevant for any vendor. The concept of include additional relations also applies to customers and items. The selections done in this example will extract any trade agreement relating to a price for item number 1000. I'm not interested in deleting the journal line already existing in the journal, so I select no. And the result guarantees that there do not exist any trade agreements relating to purchase prices for item number 1000 prior to posting this trade agreement journal. The adjustment functionality is used to adjust the prices and discounts within the trade agreement journal with a percentage, amount and or percentage point. The function applies to all the trade agreement journal lines, which in this example will be only one. Let's try and add an additional 10% to the current purchase price. 10% added to 2000 US dollar is 2200 US dollar, which is exactly what is the new amount in currency on our trade agreement journal line. The copy line functionality is enhancing productivity. 
the chance that the next journal line is for the same vendor and or item is high. The next journal line might just be for a different set of dimensions or for a different price break. In this case, we will create a new journal line stating that the price per unit is 2000 US dollar when 100 or more of the televisions is requested. The copy and revise functionality is used to make a copy of all journal lines in the journal while change one or more values. As an example, a decision has been made that sales prices should be created, adding 5% to all relevant purchase prices. In order to execute this decision, a user can use this functionality to make a copy of all relevant purchase prices while changing the relation for the created journal lines. Next step is to remove the journal lines related to the original purchase prices and then use the adjustment functionality on the reminder. Let's post the journal and thereby create new trade agreements that will be used when purchase prices are requested. And let us create a purchase requisition that will find our new trade agreement and use this as a purchase price. The one and only purchase requisition line on this purchase requisition will be for item number 1000 and for the quantity of 50. Please acknowledge that the unit price is 2200 US dollar, which is what we just specified on a trade agreement and therefore as expected. This purchase requisition is submitted to the workflow, which automatically will approve it. I can create and open a new purchase order based on the approved purchase requisition from the released approved purchase requisition form. Let's assume that we find the television at another vendor to a better price, while we call the vendor and request a change to the order. We might get an extra 10% discount that we enter manually on the purchase order. We might call again next day and ask to decrease the quantity to only 25. This is changing the conditions on the purchase order line the terms that were present when creating and confirming the purchase requisition and when granting the extra discount has now changed. The dialog given informs the user of the origin of the prices and discounts. The user can now choose whether or not to keep the price and or discounts that are written from a different document or entered manually or to re-evaluate overriding the current prices and or discounts with the defaults deduced from trade agreements. During this presentation, we have discussed trade agreement combinations and the table group old concept. The demonstration has explained the structure of a trade agreement while actually creating trade agreements representing purchase prices. The trade agreements were created and maintained in a trade agreement journal and the presentation went through the various functionalities within the journal. The product demonstration also demonstrated how information were provided around earlier negotiated and agreed upon prices and discounts when condition changes, so the user can evaluate whether to keep existing prices and discounts or to re-evaluate based on the defaults deduced from trade agreements.